us. It's a breezy day here in Highland Heights, Kentucky. The Northern Kentucky Norse stepping out of Horizon League play tonight. The day goes on, of course, uh, with their standout uh, number three hitter and catcher. Riley Smith, Indiana native, 3-0 last week with a .38 earned run average, 18 innings of work. Acer behind the plate. Lauren Hicks in the circle, lays down a good bunt. It's going to have to be Hicks to field. The throw on to first is in time, just in time, to get the speedy Nesby for out number one. Was a second-team All-American in 2022. First three seasons. This is a loaded wild kick in from Hicks. And that ball is ripped to short. Tatum Biddle ranges over, throws across the diamond. It's not in time. The speedy Koffel beats it out. It's an international fast pitch draft, number eight overall by the U-Triple-S-A Pro. And that ball is ripped to short, and it's caught, and it's going to be a double play with a good throw, and indeed it is a double play. Kowalik rips it to the shortstop. At least an inning in two-thirds in four of the five games Team Italy played. Did not allow a run in touch to Lemonier, the 0-1. This is outside, one ball and one strike. Of course, Schoonover's last up for the Norse. 2-2, slap to second, going to have to hurry. The quick throw to first is in time. Nice play by Margaret Tobias to get the speedy. Birds on the season at 286, and this is a one-hopper off the glove of Harrison. It's going to end up allowing Rhodes to reach first base. My guess is that will be an error on the first. Playing right field today on this breezy day and fouls it straight back for the three games. And the rise ball misses high for ball four, and just like that, Northern Kentucky with two on and one out. Here in the bottom of the behind home plate, the mask designed to honor all the all American squad. And that ball hit high in the air toward right field, ranging over and making the catch right on the foul line is Taylor F. So Alexia Lacatena trying to work out of this bottom. One, two, swing and a miss. Lacatena able to work out of the jam and leave two on here in the bottom of the first. We head to the second, no score. Kentucky bats here in the top of the second, no score. Wildcats got a one out off ball. Again with a one, two and a swing and a miss as Hicks goes upstairs with a rise ball and Smith is down on strikes for out number one. Seven home runs, 29 runs batted in. Hicks ready with a two, two and a swing and a miss. Took a little off of that change up and Lorsung waves at it in two straight strikeouts. 2 0 is ripped down the right field line. That's a fair ball. Rounding first is Ebbs and heading into second. And she will round and will dump umpire. And count goes to three balls and a strike. She's 60 feet away. The 3 2 misses up high for ball four. So Harrison draws a two out walk. And I'll put runners on the corner of the game. Hicks trying to. Get out of this jam. The one-two is a swing and a miss. Hicks strikes out all three Wildcats. She retires in the end. And Megan Kenser will lead things off for Northern Kentucky, followed by Tatum Biddle and Trinity Rock. Roll the designated player today. Hits this one hard to third. Grace Lorsung able to handle it easily and flip on to first for out number one. Ebbs. Two-two is a call strike three. That's a pitch that Lacatena has been trying to get 223 on the season, two home runs and 18 runs. Lacatena ready with the 0-2, and that's a called strike three. So back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the bot. And has to lay down a bunt and bunts it foul. No balls in one strike. Playing a 242 on the season, 15 hits. Hicks with a 1-2 and hits it up in the air. Going back for it is the second baseman, Sydney Barnes. She has it for out number one. So and Hicks to get there and throw over to Barnes covering first to get her by. And slaps a high bouncer. That's going to be trouble. The quick throw is not going to be in time. That's an infield hit. Nesby now on first with one out. It'll be Aaron Koffel who Looking to set Koffel down. Runner goes again. Bit, pitches in the dirt and not any chance they're going to get an SB at second. Let me get a big out here with Kowalik on deck. The 3 2 is low. Ball four. That puts runners on first and second with only one out. 1 1 is ripped right back up the middle for a base hit. Lemonier comes in charging. Going to try to throw the runner out at third. It is not in time. Two strikes. Valley Mitchell. And a swing and a miss. Big strikeout for Hicks. To Lorsung. No 
The one is hit to center field. Lemonier ranges over and she has it to end the inning. So Kentucky gets one. Lemonier and Rhodes for Northern Kentucky. And this one is ripped to second. Ranging over is Tobias to throw on to first. Harrison has it for out number one. Ball is hit hard by. Not too many teams anywhere have someone like that. Checks the armband. And that one is slapped to second again. Handled nicely again by Tobias, who throws on to Harrison for out number two. Ball in one strike. That ball hit into left field. Vanessa Nesby ranges over. She has it, and that will retire the Norse in the it's Lauren Hicks. Allowed four hits. Nice early. That one is a grounder to first. Shimkowicz will backhand, sliding to the bag, able to get the out. Fifty for her coaching career. That ball's ripped fair down the right field line. In the corner, and they'll get it back in. It'll be a stand-up space. And Harrison reaches with a one-out double. Runner closed at second. There's a bunt. It's a really good one. Only plays to first, and it's not even going to be close. Can't lay it out there any Kentucky, especially in, with the bottom of their order up. If they can turn it over to the top with runners are scoring one out. And tried to check her swing, and she went around for a strikeout. Home plate on bunt in the first inning. Come up with a huge. One, two. Lip ripped into left field for a base hit. One run will score. They will hold the second runner as that was hit right to Jenna Rhodes. On the contact, so instead of there being a run, three, two. Is a called strike three. Third time today, Northern Kentucky. 2-2, two, two. and a called strike three. Second straight hitter here in the bottom of the fourth, down on strike. It has a strikeout that is a forward K and not a backward K in the two, popped up. Got that one above the hands just slightly, and the third baseman, Grace Lorsung, will come over and make the catch. And the Norris over at the Koffel was able to extend her streak of number of games reaching base. Norris out, that one ripped up the middle for a base hit. Just a good piece of hitting there by Coffle, able to keep the hands back on the changeup. Henson currently ranked number 20 in both poles. Swinging a minute, or excuse me, to strike, taking the throw down, not in time. Stolen base for Coffle. 2 2. Is a high fly ball back into left center field. Going back to the fence, and it is off the fence. Moment I thought it had gone over. Kowalik is all the way into third. The fence and it must have hit the fence before it got to her glove. And he just smoked the left center. We'll take another look and yeah, just out of the reach it looks like. I think you could tell. Down to the final three weekend. Three two is hit over the shortstop biddle into left field for a base hit. An RBI single for Hallie Mitchell and a three nothing lead for Kentucky. to Grace Lorsung, struck out and lined out to center field. Ivan Kowalik, that one in the dirt, runner goes, and no chance for Lacer, who did well to block it. Have broken through for two here in the fifth, that ball hit high in the air. Sydney Barnes back on the outfield, Grass has it for out number one here in the top. Three two is hit into right center field, that's extra bases. Ebbs around first, Lemonier will pick it up off the fence. A run scores on the RBI, double by Ebb. Sign and we'll get it. 3-2, outside for ball four. And that will put runner Rising League pitcher of the week. Now pitching number seven. It'll be Madison needs to pick. That one in the dirt and both runners will advance. Be a wild pitch for Madison Eads. It's a four-pitch walk to Carissa Hamilton. The bases are loaded with one out. For Eads. And it's ripped into left center field, a base hit. That may clear the bases. One run scores, two run scores. They'll send the runner on from first. It's a three-run double.
for Kennedy Sullivan. Six runs are in. Let's take another look at it. And Nesby tries to bunt and fouls it back off the screen for strike one. From Nesby. And it's popped up. Just when Northern Kentucky needed, Lacer comes out and makes the catch for out number two. Looking to increase one of those totals potentially, and that ball hit high and deep in the left field. Going back to the wall, and it's gone. Got a pitch up in the zone and turned on it and ripped it over the left field fence. Just got one up in the zone and just turned on it, squared it up. Not enough root for Jenna Rhodes. All she can do to extend this game beyond five innings. And Kowalik will poke one into left field. Jenna Rhodes will come in to make the catch. And that will end the Kentucky fifth inning. But what a fifth inning it was. With eight, they treated them well last weekend. Big road series coming up this weekend with Purdue-Fort Wayne. One. That one's a called strike three. Akatena certainly play tournament. And that ball hit into center field for a base hit. The pinch hitter for Northern Kentucky comes. Looks like another pinch hitter. Looks like it's going to be Brielle DeMemo. And that ball hit in the air. Drifting in as the right fielder ebbs. Last chance for the Norse here. Barnes grounded out the first order of business. The second order of business would be to try to keep the game alive. And that ball ripped to left field. And it will be caught by the left fielder, Henley Mitchell, who will make the catch. And that will do it. For Bill Ferrer, our engineer, Travis Gibbons, and the rest of our media services crew, I'm Matt Sessions saying so long from the Frank Ignatius Grind softball field. The final score is.